Good afternoon, Americans. This is your favorite alien and Bubba on the evening of Thursday, November 28th, Thanksgiving Day. Well, I did a video this morning on uh, thank you to the USA and one yesterday on Thanksgiving. But today I got some uh, answers back for some people. One of them was a lady named Linda. She didn't leave her last name. And she wrote a very interesting three uh, three line thing and I'll read you some of it here it says quack <laughs> so you know that she means business why are you defending that Nazi uh, you know she's a staunch Democrat if she uses the word Nazi right because Democrat seems to like that term for some reason well Linda I wish you would put your last name down there so I could call you miss or whatever but anyway why are you using the term Nazi? This is what I hate about you Democrats and most of you Americans. You use terms that you don't understand. Nazi? For President Trump? Really? Now, President Trump and Adolf Hitler do have something in common. They do have a good oratory. And yes, even though it's not plash or that the or the uh, remarks that President Trump says even if they're vulgar have an audience okay same as Adolf Hitler did otherwise the Nazi party would not work his auditory is what carried the Nazis it resonated with some people that did the dirty work President Trump's resonate with some people that carry his base there's nothing you can do about it. That's the way some people are. He is that way. Theodore Roosevelt had a charisma like that and then an oratory the same way. And Franklin Roosevelt, his cousin, did the same thing. John F. Kennedy had that kind of persuasion there. And whether you like it or not, Ronald Reagan, in his own way, had a communicating way. That's why they call him the great communicator, because they spoke to a certain base. And, whether you like it or not, Linda, and you Democrats are called of Nazi, this is the way the president is. For good and bad, okay? So quit using the term Nazi. You can get away from that next year in 2020. You didn't have to go through this impeachment proceedings. You didn't have to drag the country into this mess. All you had to do was wait till November 2020, and if you don't like him, vote him out. That's all you have. But you don't have the base that wants to do that, because you don't have the people on your base that know what the heck they want. The Republicans don't either. But President Trump's got a 30% plus base built in already. He knew the base was out there when he ran. Otherwise, he would not have run. All he needed was at least a certain amount of dissatisfied Clinton voters to help him over the hump. And he got that. He knew there would be more dissatisfied Clinton voters and there would be dissatisfied Trump voters. Now, you Democrats, when you're doing the 2020 and you picked your dumb dumb, <coughs> I mean Democratic candidate, that you want next year, make sure that he can attract more plus voters than he can give up dissatisfied voters. That was a problem with Clinton. There was more dissatisfied voters and plus voters. Okay. Anyway, this is your favorite alien, and Bubba, saying, please, do not use a term that you don't understand, and happy Thanksgiving. Good day.